Greetings and say it's a mace. It's a mace. <laughs> <laughs> gonna laugh when we meet something else, but um, yes, yeah, so we have we have more paths in street mode to go through. So, shall we check them out? Surely. Street mode. But the, you weren't here earlier. Yeah. And there's something weird in the background there. Hmm. Hmm. Is there any particular one you want to check out next? I feel we have to do that one. The red comet? Yeah. Okay. Seriously, that thing in the background looks familiar. I'm not sure what it is. War is hard business. War never changes. We are the Red Comet. First oh hey, we're fighting the ball. That tracks. Ball. Yeah, in... In one of Char's first battles, he took down like five battleships. Space battleships. Through a combination of like, reckless piloting and badassness. Ow. The ball shot you in the ass. Taste my axe. I feel that's a little backwards, a you know, sophisticated robot having an axe. Keep in mind the uh Z the Zaku was a relatively primitive suit, and it's just like a heated blade compared to like a beam saber. During during the Universal Century, because of the development of the Manofsky particle, which is responsible for like base flight and beam weaponry, um, but it also jams up conventional targeting. There is a greater focus on close range fighting, so a lot of mobile suits have close-ranged weapons, and a bunch of the early Xeon mobile suits have, like, heated blades. So, like, the Zakus have heat hawks, which are those axes. The Goof and the Dom have different versions of the, uh, heat saber. The the Agai, the High Gog, and other aquatic mobile suits just have big-ass <laughs> claws. Yeah, the ball is definitely a thing of desperation. We're, we're fighting our own direct inferior. This is fine. What are you? Don't you mean superior? It is Sniper Joe. Yeah, but we're the better version of Sniper Joe because we move three times faster. But are we green? No. When people think Christmas colors, they think green first because of the tree. I love that that's your argument. <laughs> Ow. We, yeah, Char was known for preferring mobile suits that are kind of glass cannony. He liked speed. Um, the Red Comet Zaku was fast. His version of the of the Zagok, which is not in this game, was faster. His version of the Gelgoog, which is not in this game, is red and faster. The Zeong is kind of an odd man out. But uh, the Hyakushiki, which he pilots during Zeta Gundam, is fast and armored with a coat of golden paint. Even the Zazabi, even though it's pretty heavily armored, has a shitload of thrusters in it. Okay, but question? Yes. Why was its limit break throwing fruity pebbles at the enemy? Because the Zaku doesn't have much going for it, and this... This canonically should not be a fight. We should die from this thing looking at us. Hello, Double Zeta Gundam. <coughs> Fire. 
Got a grenade! <laughs> Got a grenade! It's a good thing our grenades don't have ammo, or else this could be problematic. Never mind the fact that, like, none of our weapons should be able to damage this thing. Because of that delicious Gundarium Gamma alloy. Not to mention, how damaging could Fruity Pebbles be? Ow. I mean, everybody knows the most damaging cereal is Cap'n Crunch. Oh, oh god, high mega particle cannon. Fru Fruity Pebbles are barely a cereal. You, you know when cereal gets soggy when you, like, put it in milk, but usually it takes a little time? Mm -hmm. Fruity Pebbles instantly become soggy. Maybe that's why Barney Rubble liked them so much. He likes soggy cereal? I mean, he is kind of a wet blanket. He's 14. Of course he's a brat. We just, we just beat up a 14-year-old. Do you feel good about yourself? Akahana, yet another person who was serving under Char Asnable. Let's kick his ass. I will teach you the power of Fruity Pebbles. Yes. Got a grenade! Fun, fun fact! <laughs> the Red Comet is in Gundam Battle Assault 1, but it's a super secret character. Why? Mo mostly because, like, it's game-breakingly fast. The changes in how flight works in this game make it less so, but it's still way better than it should be. Grenades! Take my fruity pebbles! Damn it! He didn't want it. Now he does. Clearly he's a Cocoa Pebbles fan. I will kill you with the pebbles if it kills me. Ha! Oh boy, water effects in the background. Those are... Of all the PS1 graphics I've ever seen, um... I've seen worse water graphics, to be honest. Yeah. Who, to be fair, Char was trying to kill this entire va family because the zombies were the resp were responsible for the death of Char's father. Hello, my name is Yoshi. You killed my father. Prepare to die. Big Zom? I think I will test the power of my big Zom. Are you ready to play? Kinky. Ready? Fire. Fire. Steal it. Steal it's it a much better thing than ours. We should steal it. Steal it and fill it with fruity pebbles. And then we open it and turns out it's filled with lucky charms. If I'm gonna get lucky charms, I'm gonna get like Count Chocula or Booberry because it's spooky. Well, at the time of this recording, they are out in stores. Hmm. Maybe we should grab some. Hmm. Fruit Brood is also back, too. Fruit Brood is back? Really? Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's the one we need to grab. <laughs> Task failed successfully. Fruity Pebbles, go! Your Big Zam was no match for my Fruity Pebbles. Well, Joke's on you, I eat Pop-Tarts!
That's a very char thing to say. <laughs> oh god! We're fighting pull two! What happened to one? Uh, LP pull, LP pull, which is pull one, uh, actually dies fighting pull two, I'm pretty sure. Man. Pull two is her clone. Shit ah. gets weird in, in, uh, ZZ Gundam. Yeah, the, uh, Queen Mansa has a new attack in this game. It can give you a bear hug. Bad things happen when it does. So it's like the big guy in Haunting Ground. Again, we shouldn't be able to damage this thing, but gameplay bells. Also, the clone lady looks kind of like Karama from the Hakusho. I, I mean, she's like 12, except she's a clone, so not really. Oh god. <laughs> And then it turns out that uh, she likes the generic Fruity Pebbles thing. Like I didn't know there were generic Fruity Pebbles. There probably is. There's generic, you know, cereal for everything, it seems. Yeah. Oh, this is going to be close. <laughs> Got a grenade. <laughs> Got a grenade. <laughs> so, so... So we got nice and used to the red comet, right? Yeah. We, we know we know how this thing works. Mm -hmm. Yep, we got this. The power of fruity pebbles compel compels us. Oh hey, we're fighting the noise seal, which didn't exist yet, but fine. Oh, it's you again. Cross your legs, everybody. You know why. It has five health bars. This is gonna be fun. Oh, it's got a lot of stamina and endurance. Good to know. Yep. That probably makes its pilot very happy. We may lose this fight just because of how much health you bastard. So, with the axe going towards the shaft, would that be equivalent of certain medical procedures? I am too far away for this to work well. Would you stop turning around, you bastard? It's it's very flexible, what can I say? Oh god. See, I feel that Ow. should have been coming out of a different end. Grenades! Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles, go! So we Fruity Pebbled the Noid Seal to death. Well, glory to the winner. How does that make you feel, Star? What happened? I was grabbing a cat. We, we Fruity Pebbled the Noid Seal to death. I'm not sure that's how it works. But yeah, we're, we're nice and used to fighting the Red... to playing as the Red Comet. The next guy should be our final boss, assuming I can count. We, we got this. We, we got our Fruity Pebbles. We're good. 
Yeah, we're fighting the Gundam. We got this. We're, we're in the we're the Red Comet. We're great. What the? We're not the Red Comet. We're Mega Maid again. Sure. I had a feeling that you would be coming. No, that was earlier. So, I guess you're new type. But are you Particularly with the last fight. We're mature. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, for the final fight, you have to get used to piloting something else completely. We're gonna get all the air. Ow. I mean, it's kind of like we have legs, but not quite. We, we have jets, which we can do this with. They did buff the, uh, Zeong from the last game so that more of its attacks are multi-hitting. Oh god. You dick. Yeah. Take this. Take what? <laughs> this, damn it. Also, why does, it, why does it have antlers? Antlers? Uh, they're communication arrays or something. Lala said new types are not weapons of war, even though she was used as a weapon of war. Game over. Continue the game. Yes. Hi, Patches. What's up, Patches? You want it in here. Do you want Fruity Pebbles? We no longer have Fruity Pebbles. We just have our Extendo Arms. And they don't seem to do very well. I miss the Red Comet. I miss the Fruity Pebbles. But not as much as Sprinkles Bangles. Actually, I don't think I've ever had Fruity Pebbles. It's been a long time since I've had Fruity Pebbles. Oh, crap. Hey! You put that away! <laughs> Take this. Also, now I feel I have to ask, if their love interest was named Lala, did they have brothers named... Poe, Tinky Winky, and Dipsy? Not to the best of my knowledge, her name was Lala Soon, Char found her in a brothel. I thought you were Gundam! Gonna... It's happy! I thought you were gonna say he found her in a ditch. Yeah. Basically, she was a Xeon pilot. She uh, He recruited her to be a new type Xeon pilot. She piloted a mobile weapon known as the Elmeth. Um, but a chance meeting with Amaro, their psychic powers resonated and they fell in love. But Char was also in love with her. And so big, big battle um, and Lala gets caught in the crossfire. And basically her psychic ghost comes between these two for the rest of their natural lives. And possibly beyond. All combat is over. That is the weirdest love triangle I've ever heard. Lala, please show me how. And Char only started developing new type powers after now, Lala died. Victory. Like she was reaching out to him from beyond the grave a little bit. Okay, so clearly they they need to build a robot. That's what got us into this mess! We need to build another robot! One that shoots Sprinkle Spangle. 
Now there's a cereal I haven't heard of in a long time. I know, right? Like, I think we got those once and like hidden treasures <laughs> twice. Th this is certainly a credit sequence. Yep. Yep. But yeah, in Char's counterattack, ostensibly, Char is starting a war on behalf of all the people living in space who he believes are being oppressed by Earth. Which is the story of Gundam always. But uh, he's attempting to drop colonies on Earth to destroy all the Earth-bound people so humanity will evolve into superior, new-type space noids. In actuality, he just really, really wants a final battle with Amaro, because he's like, screw it, don't have a morality chain anymore. Really miss Lala, wanna kick this guy's ass because it's his fault. And Amaro's like, wasn't my fault, you're the one who sent her into war in the first place. But yes, we've unlocked more things in versus mode. Is <coughs> Zaku 2S is available. Those two things, mostly. And game progress on the map. Didn't unlock as much as last time. Properly saved. You better go fight some more. Don't tell me what to but, do! But with that, we have... We have defeated the one-year war. In street mode. What will we do next? Well, you'll have to tune in to find out. But until then, we're the Landstar saying, eat your cereal. Cereal. <laughs>